You start to feel fragile, like you're going to panic, but because there's so much, uh, uh, you know, esprit de corps, I go back because I can't let my fellow doctors and nurses down. And so you do it day after day. And so you go through the, the steps of the trauma, feeling horrified by it, feeling terrified by it, feeling fragile, verging on panic. But then what happens is the adrenaline kicks in and adrenaline helps insulate you from your thoughts and feelings and allows you to push them down to not have to deal with them because you're just trying to survive it. And then what happens is you go back, the adrenaline's pumping, you get through it. And then what happens is the danger passes. And when the danger passes, the adrenaline insulation goes away. Uh, and rather than feeling relieved, there's what we talked about, the, uh, the uh, re-traumatization avoidance, 